Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Convertible Solutions Virtual Trade Show. Now today we're going to talk about distribution of the Multiloft products all over the world. Currently we distribute in almost 48 countries globally. And the great thing is, no matter where you are in the world, Multiloft family of products work the same. You take the paper, put them together, glue touching glue, seal the papers together, forming cards, or any other type of thing, brochures and things like that that we've talked about, and you have a Multiloft product that is successful for your customers and their campaigns. Now we're gonna to talk to Mr. Boris Kosen today. Boris has a lot of experience with the printing industry, with printing presses, technical support, marketing. He has a vast amount of knowledge and Boris is actually our managing director for Europe. Now when we're talking about the products distributed across the world, one thing to keep in mind is that presses are exactly the same. They have digital presses in Europe, digital presses in the United States, offset presses, toner presses, everything's the same. They're just distributed in different parts of the country. What changes though, as they're distributed to different countries and different parts of the world, the sheet size may change. The sheet sizes change based on the culture and based on the type of setups that that particular country is used to. But that really doesn't matter because the end of it is that multi-loft papers work exactly the same for anybody in the world. Again, you can make great products, brochures, cards, a vast amount of things based on the campaigns that your customers are going to come up with. Business sectors are the same. So in Europe and the United States, Australia and everywhere in the world, you're going to have automotive industry, medical industry, all different types of industries that represent different business sectors, but that doesn't matter. The campaigns are generated by the customer. They come into the offices. Marketing campaigns are generated with graphics. Those graphics are distributed to the print shops. They're printed. The multi-loft papers are converted. And every customer has the opportunity to be very successful with the different papers using their campaigns and their different projects as a base. So let's get started. Let's talk to Mr. Boris Kozen. So Boris, welcome to the Convertible Solutions Virtual Trade Show. I'm really glad that you're here today and it's a good opportunity for our Convertible Solutions family and all of your customers and our customers as well to meet you and learn a little bit more about you. Thank you very much, Pete, for the invitation and the pleasure is mine. Yeah, absolutely. So you're the Managing Director of Europe, Convertible Solutions Europe, and you've been in the industry a very long time. So could you tell our, all of our customers and all of uh, the CS family globally a little bit about your industry background? During the second half of the 90s, I moved to Germany to start working for Hewlett Packard. Uh, from there, I was coordinating the distribution, distribution uh, from desktop printers and computers to Belgium. Mm. So, by the way, Belgium is the country I'm coming from. Um, after some very intense and interesting years and jobs, I moved to Zycon as managing director for Germany. As you know, Pete, Zycon is a producer of high-end digital presses. Yep. And I would say this was around 20 years ago, and uh, it was a fascinating period because it was not only the early stages of digital printing, it was as well the breakthrough of digital printing. And remember, Pete, at the trade shows, like 15, 20 years ago, the big question was always, is digital print quality offset-like or not offset-like? Exactly. As good so as this was, <laughs> this was the period, it was fascinating. So during that time, I also had the luck to meet with Eric Schneider, the founder, owner, and current CEO of Convertible Solution, and his amazing product of pre-converted paper to produce uh, high-end, quite complicated self-mailers without any post-press finishing. So I was immediately blown away. And I realized immediately that this solution was the missing link to have true print-on-demand. At that time, print-on-demand, at that time, everyone was speaking about print-on-demand. Mm -hmm. But as long as you don't have finishing on demand, you don't have print on demand. Yes. Yep. So I knew that this product or this solution with the finishing like glues and uh, perforation on the paper would change the whole printing landscape. Yeah. This pre-converted material was actually the missing piece for a lot of printers, digital or offsets, um, that didn't have finishing in-house. So all of a sudden, finishing equipment was not mandatory anymore or outsourcing it because outsourcing was very cost uh, intensive and price intensive. So, you know, even companies that had the finishing in-house realized very, very quickly about the benefit of convertible solutions product for short runs, but also for the long runs. Yeah. They didn't have to write off expensive equipment. They didn't have expensive waste, expensive reprints, 
uh, curing times, expensive overhead costs, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So, um, yeah, actually then the journey with convertible solutions, at that time, convertible brands, started in 2006, when Derek decided to go with an affiliate overseas to cover the European market or the European needs. And I was blessed to be on board immediately. And since 14 years now, I'm leading the European operations. Yeah, yeah we're certainly glad to have you, Boris. We've learned a lot from you as well as you've learned a lot from us. A lot of people don't realize that convertible solutions products were born out of necessity. We needed those for internal needs in our own business. And we thought, hey, participation rates grew so much using these self-integrated mailers. If it can help us, it can help other companies as well. And that was the birth of convertible solutions. Absolutely. So everybody knows, Boris, cultures are different all over the world. Every continent, every country has their own cultures. But what we also know is that businesses thrive in the same business sectors all over the world and in all these different countries. So in the United States, we have real estate, medical, we have uh, automotive, all different business sectors that we use convertible solutions, mailers, and products for in the United States for our customers. So in Europe, what do your customers use this for? Oh, yes, absolutely, Pete. Um, the business sectors in Europe are exactly the same as in the United States of the rest of the world. So I would say there is no major difference. The biggest difference that we have with Europe, uh, United States and the rest of the world is maybe the culture. Yeah, there is a big difference in culture. Uh, and I would even go a step further. Uh, there is not only a cultural difference between United States and Europe and Europe or the rest of the world, but also within Europe, we have a lot of cultural differences. Uh, that's a good point. Yes. See, Europe is a patchwork of 28 different countries. And the challenge of working in a cross European environment is that every country is a different entity or platform. It's an entity with its own language or languages. It has different regulations, legislations, customs, habits, expectations, and sometimes even currencies. You see, if you work with someone from Southern Europe, like Spain or Greece, it's completely different to work with this person than with his counterpart in the Nordics, like for example, Finland or Sweden, uh, doing exactly the same thing. Pete, you have been in Europe yeah. and you know, you've seen it, you've done it that doing business in the United Kingdom is completely different as doing this, uh, business with someone in Switzerland. Although Switzerland is only 750 kilometers away or 500 miles uh, from the United Kingdom, which is nothing distance-wise in the United States. So that's a major reason, Pete, why our distribution channels are through local exclusive uh, partners or merchants because they cover these needs. They have a better understanding of the local culture. So all by all, you know, these national and regional uh, differences uh, you have on a daily basis with uh, customers or partners makes it very fun and interesting, but at the same time makes it also challenging because it's quite difficult to standardize processes. Yeah. Yep. Now, regarding um, the businesses we are working with or for uh, Pete, I think, you know, you cover the business needs. 100% the same over here. Uh, we have two target groups. The first one, of course, are the printers. And the second one are uh, the marketing or the creative agencies. So the creative agencies, they create unique business ideas or they develop amazing business ideas. So these two target groups work per in perfect harmony, hand in hand. There is absolutely no conflict of interest. And you can say that the business flow is from top down to bottom up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Makes perfect so sense. Me, let me ask you something. Speaking yeah. about Europe, um, eco-friendly substrates, recycling is a major topic uh, nowadays in Europe. And I think not only in Europe. And could you please tell me uh, what you have been working on so far? You bet. You bet. Yeah, so as, as you stated, Boris, we're always working on something. Our customers have come to the point where they expect us to come up with new things. Every year at the trade shows, they come to our booth and say, what do you have new for me this year? What can I bring to my customers? So right now, we're working on a couple different products. 
One of these products that we have is called Terra 14. Terra 14 is going to help out the, um, the integrated card industry, the type of cards that you would receive in the mail, that's a gift card or something like that. We're working on metalized papers. The thing that's a little bit different about our metalized paper that helps the environment is it is PET free. So we do not use any type of synthetic to apply or metalize the paper. So that helps it because it is uh, eco-friendly. It's not in the landfills. You don't have the plastics there. And then the last thing we're working on, and some of your customers may have seen some of our videos for us with the glitter. The glitter is its own entity. It's its own, uh, it's its own machine because the way it works is we have created a way to apply glitter to paper, completely seal it in, and make it digital printable. And because of that process, whenever it separates from the paper in the recycling stage, it is a higher recycled content because you can actually remove the flakes in the PET surface and it doesn't go into the drain system. It doesn't go into the, uh, the uh, water tables. It doesn't go into the environment. It can be held and recycled on its own. Oh, that's perfect. I'm glad to hear that, that you're developing, uh, that you're developing in such a way. And Pete, you mentioned the Terra 14. What is so special about Terra 14? Yeah, that's a good question, Boris. So in the United States, especially in the bigger cities, in the bigger, more populous areas, one of the things that you really see a lot of are people purchasing gift cards. So these different types of cards could be a redemption card, bring this card in, for example, to redeem $25 worth of a certain product when you buy $100 worth. It could be something like bring this card in and use it as your membership card. But the thing about all these membership cards is in the United States, it is usually very, very thick cards, about the thickness of a credit card. Wow. And so the way this works in the United States for us now is we have developed a way to produce and manufacture a water resistant card that is also about the same thickness as a credit card. So here's an example of a mailer. In this mailer right here, you can see it's a fairly large mailer, but on this one corner of the mailer, there's an integrated card. It's perforated and scored. It's ready for detachment. So when the customer gets this in the mail, they can read everything on the front, everything on the back. They can take this card and they can bend it and certainly just separate it right off. And with this process being plastic free, it helps the environment. Now, what we have also developed is with this card, it is made by Ingerson. Ingerson is a very, very well-known brand of papers everywhere. Okay. Very, very highly respected. This Invercoat by Ingerson, we call it Terra 14 because the United States is 14 point thick. It's about 300 GSM. This particular card is super calendared and super smooth. So because of that, it's water resistant. We've actually taken these cards and we've actually saturated them with water and they stayed very much intact and they were reusable. Now, of course, you wouldn't want to keep your cards completely submerged in water, but we wanted to test <laughs> the water resistance properties and they work very, very well. So by doing these different things with this particular paper, we're making super thick cards about the thickness of a business card or a credit card, excuse me, but with the water resistance and redemption property, they're easy to use and they're easy to substitute into your current program if you wanna get away from plastics. It's super easy. Oh, okay. Sounds great. Thanks a lot for the clarification, Pete. Yeah. And could you also tell me uh, what is different about the metalized paper you are developing? Sure. So the metalized paper, traditionally, a lot of customers call it foils. We're, we're, we're gonna run foil paper. We're gonna run, uh, uh, metal coated paper but most of the time Boris the way this works is the foil is applied to the substrate and then it has a lamination over the top of it or the way it works is the metalization is applied to the plastic and then it is put onto the substrate the base carrier either way you have plastic involved and of course as everybody knows with the environment and we have to be conscious and be good stewards of the environment that all this goes into the landfills and at that point it builds up and takes hundreds and hundreds of years to degrade so what we've done is we have developed this way to at attach this metallized uh, content to the paper itself and actually you can digitize it you can print right over it we're going to have offset versions we're going to have large 28 inch by 40 inch 
uh, very large sheets, B2 size sheets. We're gonna have all these different formats available that are going to be plastic free. And the easy way to tell if your particular paper, if you're a business owner, if you're in a press room and your shop wants to know if you have plastic on your paper, most of the time you can just kind of tear one of the little edges on it, on the sheet. And if it has plastic coating on it, if it has a laminate, it won't tear because it's got the laminate, the plastic on top of it. With our, you can tear right through it because it's plastic free. So it's super, super healthy for the environment. Wow, looking forward to start distributing this over in Europe. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. And so Pete, you just mentioned uh, the glitter paper and I understood uh, from your explanation from the glitter that the glitter is already on the paper prior printing, which is of course unique, which is completely in line with the other solutions we are offering. Uh, what kind of other solutions or advantages can we expect of the glitter paper when start selling it in, the, in Europe? Yeah. So one of the greatest things about our glitter paper, this is part of the culture of the United States. I'm sure it's certainly the same way in Europe. Around the holiday time, Boris, our wives will go out, they'll purchase these glitter papers, and for the next three months until the summer season comes, there's there glitter, glitter all over the place. There's glitter everywhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> With our paper, the glitter is sealed to the sheet. So not, not only does that help, you don't have glitter all over your house and all <laughs> the environment in your home, but it doesn't come off in your printing press. It doesn't come off in your finishing equipment. It doesn't come off in the mailing system. It remains intact. So when this glitter is placed on the paper in many different colors, it is sealed. We put a digital receptor or an offset coating on top of it to even seal it in even more. And at that point, it remains intact and does not cut off. You could actually get a sheet of glitter paper and rub it over your plate of spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> and you will be perfectly fine. You'll be healthy. No worries. The glitter will not come off. But because of the glitter is sealed so well, it is perfect. And that is the main benefit. I'll make the test at home, Pete. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Boris, in Europe, I'm assuming that based on our conversations today, that recycling is a priority. Oh, yes, it is. You know, it's all about sustainability, recycling, eco-friendly products. And, you know, more and more companies, more and more uh, entities ask about certifications, about what is the glue made of, does it have natural products, have it have chemical products. And uh, that's again, you know, an issue we have in Europe because every country has a little bit its own regulations and certifications and we have to apply to all these certifications. Yep. But again, uh, recycling is the topic you're speaking about nowadays. Yeah, and so that brings up the things that we use to make the convertible solutions products. Everything you just said is exactly the same in the United States for us. We're always thinking how to be good stewards and be respectful and responsible for the environment. We've only got one environment, we've got to take care of it. So <laughs> all the chemicals, all the things that we use are water-based. So our glues, our primers, our coatings, everything that we use that we apply to our substrates to make all the different products, they're all very, very healthy for the environment. So especially in Europe, I know you have different certifications with the FSC and REACH, and you have different things that you need to make sure that everything is in the proper uh, environmental regulation. We have all those things in place in the United States as well, and it makes for a very, very safe environmental product. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much for that business. Yep. So, Boris, I'd say, you know, thank you for being with us today. I'm super glad, again, that everybody got a chance to meet you. And I guess I'll just close out with a adios, au revoir, goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you so much. The pleasure is mine, Pete. All right, ciao. Have a good day. Bye-bye, ciao. So Boris, thanks a lot for joining us today. We really learned a lot. It was great to talk to you, talk about your knowledge in the industry, talk about Europe specifically and how things are being used over there. Our European office is in Stuttgart, Germany. Boris lives in Dusseldorf and he also has a partner that he works with in the office, our business manager, Miss Kirsten Hinder. She works very well with Boris and makes sure that all of our customers in Europe are very successful with these type of products. Kirsten, good morning. I'm so glad to have you here today in the Convertible Solutions Virtual Trade Show booth. Hi, Pete. Thank you. And thanks for the invitation. It's very nice to meet you today. Yes, you bet. So, Kirsten, the pandemic is around the world right now. Every single country is being affected by it. And what's happening is customers are having questions and they're wanting to know 
is Convertible Solutions USA, and in this case, Convertible Solutions Europe. Are you up and running? Is it business as usual? And do you have inventory for all the customers? Yes, Pete, we are happy. We have our business as usual. We are available every time. Also, our warehouse is working as usual. So these are all good news. Our stock is filled up and yes, also deliveries can take place without any issues. It's it's perfect, yes. Yeah, super, super good. So it sounds like they don't have to do anything different then. They don't have to do a special email or a special phone call. It's just call in or email as usual. Everything is the same. It's everything like usual. We are happy about that. Yep. What about technical support, Kirsten? We know a lot of times the customers start new projects and with these new projects, sometimes they have certain questions, especially if they're a new customer and they're not used to our product. So is technical support still available? Yes, for sure. And um, Boris and I are available. We are always glad to help our customers with technical support if that is needed. Over the years, we've done a very good job with Convertible Solutions Europe and Convertible Solutions United States working together. Sometimes we help you and your customers, and other times you help us with our customers. Sometimes a customer will call in, and they actually has a European division. So what we do then is, of course, we forward those questions on to you guys, and you help us all the time as well. So we really appreciate your help as well. In this time, as we talk about, we can't have much face-to-face -face meetings anymore. Everybody's distance from each other. Is there anything you would like to tell your customers in Europe? Yes, Pete, it's a good opportunity to tell them something, to say them thanks for their loyalty, thank you for your good cooperation. And something very important in these times, I think, is take care, stay safe, and yes, we look forward to increase our business together. Yeah, absolutely. We need everybody to stay safe. So, Kirsten, again, I'm super glad you could join us today. I'm glad you're here with us. And I will just close in saying ciao, adios, au revoir, goodbye. Stay safe and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, Pete. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. And again, guys, if anybody wants to find out any information about Convertible Solutions or Convertible Solutions Europe, the end screen on the end of this video will have the contact information. We'll send you out samples. We'll give you technical support no matter where you are in the world. We're here to help you in your campaign, and you guys can be successful too. Stay safe.